Rolling. Go. Okay, to see trading standards, roll A, scene five, take one. Hi, I'm Mandy, a Kent County Council Community Warden. I was asked to check on a local resident who was in her 70s as she hadn't been seen for a while. And whilst carrying out a welfare check, Doris mentioned that she'd had some problems with a company who were doing some work on her son's house. Her son had suffered a stroke and needed his home cleared and some basic maintenance carried out. And as well as looking after her son, Doris was a carer for her husband. So someone knocked at her door and offered to do some work she felt really grateful particularly as they implied that social services had referred them, something social services would never do. The man introduced himself as Dave and said that they could do the garden, house clearance and some other works to make the home suitable for the price of £10,000, which Doris paid. Dave was friendly and seemed helpful, but when the bill went up to £18,000, Doris was concerned. The garden work had not been carried out very well and the other works seemed shoddy. When Dave said there was a problem with the roof and it would cost a further £12,000, Doris said no, she'd actually run out of money. But in order for Dave to complete the garden work, he charged yet another £500. By the time I became involved, Doris had lost over £18,000 for poor quality and incomplete work. I called in Trading Standards and we spoke with her bank and made them aware. We also installed CCTV cameras to deter road traders and social services were contacted for ongoing support and for grants to make adaptions to the house. Trading Standards recommended a vetted and checked builder to put the work right and ensure that Doris was in safe hands. <laughs>